So the finder is how we get around our Mac, and we do this through Windows. Let's see how this works. Let's go to my Mac. To go into the finder, all you need to do is go down to the dock on the left side and click on the little smiley face here. The finder is just an app and it is always running, which means it will always be in your dock and is always located on the left side here. If you ever want to see if you are in the finder, all you have to do is go up to the top in the menu bar and look to see what application you're in. We'll take a little closer look at this when we talk about the menu bar. But for right now, this is where you can see what application you are currently in. I am currently in the Finder. Now I'm going to go over to ScreenFlow. ScreenFlow is what I use to record these lessons. So I'm going to click on ScreenFlow here. Now you'll see up in the menu bar, I am no longer in the Finder. So how do I get back to the Finder to browse my hard drive or my filing cabinet? Well, one way is to go and click on the Finder here. Another way is just to click on the desktop. I'm going to click on the desktop here and you're going to see that I'm in the Finder. Now in order to browse around a filing cabinet we use Windows or the Finder window. To open up a new Finder window all we have to do is go back down to the bottom here and click on the Finder. When I click on this we get a new window. A Finder window. I can also go up to File in the menu bar. Now you do have to be in the Finder for this. Go up to File and then you'll see New Finder Window. And then my favorite is Command In. And again, you do have to be in the Finder for this to work. So let's open up a Finder Window. Select this. We have our Finder Window. Right now I'm looking at all of my files. I want to go to my Documents. All we have to do is just go over to the side by here and click on Documents. We'll talk about how we can customize this sidebar later on in the tutorial. But right now I'm looking at my Documents folder. If you ever want to see what folder you're looking into, all you have to do is just go to the top of the Finder window. Now we can resize this Finder window. All we have to do is go to the left or right or top or bottom. I'm going to go over to the left here. You're going to see that the cursor changes. I just drag it and you can see I'm resizing the window. Go over to the right. Drag it, resizing the window. We can also go to the bottom and we can go to the top. To move the window, let's say I wanted to move this up towards the top, we click on the toolbar here. This is what we call the toolbar and it's at the top of the window. I just click and drag and it moves my whole window. We can have multiple windows open which means we can be looking in multiple folders at the same time. I'm going to type command in. We have a new window open and in this window we're looking at all my files. I want to go back to my Documents, I click on the Documents window. I want to go back to All My Files, I click on All My Files. Again, we can resize this and move it around. Open up another window, Command N. We have another new window. Let's go and take a look at Downloads. Select it. And now I have one window that's looking at Downloads, one window that's looking at All My Files, and another one that's looking at my Documents. We can drag our files and folders in between these windows. If I wanted to move this picture over to my documents here, all I have to do is drag this over to my documents window. You can see it came forward and all I have to do is let go and it moved it over to my documents window. To close a window, we just click on the red dot in the upper left hand corner. I can also type command W. We also have a yellow dot here. What this will do is minimize the window. When I click on this, watch what happens to the window. It goes down to the dock. I click on it again, it opens back up. And then our last button here is full screen. When I click on this, the window is going to take up my entire screen. The menu bar and the dock are both going to disappear. Let's click on it. You can see that the menu bar disappeared and the dock. We'll talk a little bit more about the behavior of opening up an app such as the Finder in full screen mode later on in the tutorial. But to get our menu bar back, all we have to do is just go up to the top, our menu bar comes back. To get our dock, we just go down to the bottom and we have our dock. To get back to our windowed mode, we go up to the top and then we click on the green dot again. And now we're back in our windowed mode. 
So to get around our Mac and browse our filing cabinet or our hard drive, we use the Finder. The Finder is always located down on the left side of the dock. When we click on it, we get a new window that opens up and then we can browse our hard drive. We can have multiple windows open and we can drag files and folders between those multiple windows. Now let's take a look at how we can navigate to our different folders such as applications, documents, through the menu bar. Now we do have to be in the Finder. I'm in the Finder here. And if we go over to the right, you're going to see we have Go. When I select this, I can go to a number of different folders. I want to go to my Applications folder. I just go down and select Applications. Select it. And now I'm looking at my Applications folder. Let's close this. Command W. I want to go to my Documents folder. I go back up to Go again. And then I select Documents. And now I'm looking at my Documents folder. So that's how we can get to our various folders, including Documents, Desktop Downloads, our Home folder, as well as Applications and Utilities. We can also get to our hard drive. If we go down to the bottom of this menu, you're going to see we have Recent Folders. This is how I can get to Recent Folders that I've opened. Now let's open up a new window. Command N. We have a number of different view options for when we're looking at a window. Again, these are for Finder windows because I'm in the Finder. I'm going to go up to View in the menu bar. Select it. And from here we can change how we're viewing our folders and documents. Right now it is set as a list. But if I wanted to view these as icons, I select Icons. And now we can see that they're icons. I want to view it as a column view. This is my favorite view. I go back up to View here, and then we select Columns. We can also select these different views from the toolbar. We'll take a closer look at the toolbar in another lesson. Let's go back up to View here. We also have a few other options here. I can show the tab bar. With the Finder, we can have multiple windows open as tabs. And we'll take a closer look at tabs later on in the tutorial. But when I select this, we can see that we have one tab. I want to open up another tab. All I do is just go over to the right here on this plus, and now we're looking at another tab, which means I can look at a different folder. Let's go and look at our documents here. So in this tab, I'm looking at my documents. In this tab, I'm looking at my home folder. Let's go back up to view. We also have show path bar. When I select this at the bottom of the window, we're going to have a path. So right now I'm looking at El Capitan, which is in my Users folder, which is on Macintosh HD. So let's go and open up my Documents. And now I'm going to open up Tutor for El Capitan. We go down to the Path bar, you're going to see we have my El Capitan folder, which is in my Documents folder, which is in El Capitan, which is in my Users folder, which is in my Macintosh HD. So that's how we can see the path of the folder that we're in. We also have under view show status bar. Select it and now we can see how many items are in the folder as well as how much space is available on the hard drive. I have 74 items in my Tutor for El Capitan folder. I also have 266 gigabytes available on my hard drive. So when we go over to downloads here you're going to see now it says I only have two items available. Let's go back up to View here. And then we can also hide the sidebar. The sidebar is where we have our shortcuts to our favorite folders in a Finder window. We also have in the View menu, Hide Preview. What is the preview? Well, when we go over to our monthly budget here, let's select it. I'm just going to select it. I'm not going to open it. Just click on it once. We have a preview here. We can hide this preview. Now we have to go to a different view. I'm going to go back over to our list. When I'm looking at the monthly budget, I no longer see the preview. Well, watch what happens when I go up to view here and I go to show preview. Select it. Now we have a preview. We can also decide what we want to see in these columns. Right now I'm looking at size, kind, and date added. Well, if we go back up to view here, we have Show View Options. And from here, I can select which columns I want to see in the window. 
I can also set the icon size and I can go and arrange the items in this folder and sort them by a different column. I'm going to close this. Now let's take a look at window in the menu bar. Now we do have to open up a couple of windows here to see how this works. So I'm going to command in. I'm looking at El Capitan. I'm going to command in again and let's go and look at my desktop. I'm going to command in one more time. This time we're going to look at documents. So I have three windows open. Desktop, documents, and El Capitan. I want to go to El Capitan. Well what I could do is I could click on the window here and I'm looking at El Capitan. Now I want to go to my desktop. Well, which one is it? I see two windows back here but I don't know how to select it. Well what we can do is we can go up to window in the menu bar and you do have to be in the finder for this and you're going to see all of your open windows. I want to go to the desktop. I just select desktop. And now I'm looking at my desktop. I want to look at my documents. I go back up under window and I select documents. I can also use command tilde to cycle through the windows. If we go up to window here you're going to see cycle through windows. I can select this and it's going to select the next window. But if we go over to the right you're going to see we have this key command, command tilde. When I tap on the command and tilde key at the same time watch what happens. It's cycling through my windows. So that's how we work with the Finder and the Finder Windows in macOS.